Hey guys, David Risley here with davidrisley.com and I'm still on the MacBook here and I wanted to do another screencast for you. Uh, this time I wanted to talk about the uh, Google XML sitemaps plug and I wanted to show you the back end of it and then I wanted to show you what to do with the sitemap once you actually have it. Uh, let's go on, in, we're again in the uh, control panel here for davidrisley.com. Let's click on settings and then we're going to click on XML sitemap. Now this obviously won't show up unless you have the plugin installed and activated, but I do. So, uh, you know, I need to do the upgrade here apparently. But anyways, um, you've got a, base, a bunch of settings here about running the XML file, whether I want to gzip it, which is just a compression algorithm, save some space. Uh, do I want to rebuild the sitemap if I change the content of the blog? I have that checked because every time that I post a new post, I want my sitemap to regenerate. Um, when, I, when the sitemap is regenerated, who do I want to update? Which search engine? So I have it set to notify Google, MSN, S.com. I don't have it set to, to uh, go to Yahoo right now, although I could do that. I just got to get this application ID thing. Um, modifier create robot.txt file. I'm not, I think I've got a robot.txt file, but I don't have that checked. Um, and these are just some system options regarding memory, execution time, blah, blah, blah. But I think I've got all that stuff set as default, and it works just fine. Um, but what this does, and I see a lot of people, when they, they think of a sitemap, you may think of uh, you know a, a visible page that a user can come and see a list of everything that your site has. And in this case, this is not the case. This is an XML file. It's designed specifically for search engine spiders to use. Uh, so the, the idea is that by using this sitemap, uh, this XML sitemap, you're giving search engines a back-end access to your blog so that they can more quickly spider your new content. Um, you know, in this case, it, mine is generating a sitemap.xml and sticking it in the root folder of davidrisley.com. Uh, I've got a bunch of other options here, by the way, but I'll let you take a look at that. But the idea is, what do we do with this XML file once it's actually been uh, been generated? Um, what we're going to do is go over to Google Webmaster Tools, and you need to actually configure it. Now, just before I launched this video, I went into Webmaster Tools and realized that davidrisley.com isn't even included. Don't! You know, that's that's my idea. Uh, I mean, I've got webyonline.com. Now, this is an old URL. I have to, I still own it, obviously, but it, everything's been redirected to davidrisley.com, and I did that a long time ago, and apparently never changed the sitemap. So I'm actually going to just go through the process here. I haven't done this in some time, and you can just kind of watch me do it. So I'll type in my URL. We're going to hit Add Site. All right, so the site has been added to your account. Verify ownership. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and... I don't even know how this is going to work, but we'll just do it. All right, so it's not verified. That's obvious. Add a meta tag or upload an HTML file. I'm going to go ahead and choose to upload an HTML file. All right, so we're going to... Let's see. I've created a file named that. I've uploaded... Blah. Okay, so what we're going to do is copy and paste this file name. I'm going to open up a text editor. And we're going to just save it. I'm going to put it, let's see, just bear with me here, because you're, you're watching me do this as I do it, obviously. David Risley, we'll put it in here. And we're going to call it that file name that Google just gave me. There we go. Now we're going to open up my FTP. Let's go ahead and go to my root folder for davidrisley.com. And there we go. Now we're going to upload that big long file. Obviously, it does not have to have any content. They're just looking to make sure that I have FTP access to my own site, which that's how they verify. And let's hit verify. Doop. Says I've done it correctly. So we're done verifying it, apparently. Um, now what I want to do is, let's go back to my dashboard. And we're, see, I've got davidrisley.com listed here. We're going to go ahead and click Add for the sitemap. And you can, if you go back to the, the, uh, the uh, plugin in your control panel, you'll see you, this word sitemap is actually a link. And you can see that it's, it's just sitemap.xml. That should be common for anybody using this plugin. So we're just going to plug that in, sitemap.xml. 
XML, submit sitemap, and there we go. It says reports may take several hours to update, blah, blah, blah. So basically it's now in queue for the Google Spider to do its thing. So that's pretty much how you add it. And you just kind of followed me through basically real time because uh, I just realized that my own site wasn't even added to it. And uh, that's how you would do the same thing. So again, I do recommend you check out and use the XML sitemap plugin. It's a very popular and common plugin. But if you're not using it, it will help you with your Google search engine uh, search results. Because what, what it does is it gives a spider a more direct path into your blog content in order to find out how often your blog is being updated and things like that. And when you combine that plugin with actually updating your blog fairly often, what you're going to find is that the Google spiders are really, really fast at indexing new content. I've actually had them pick up new content over on PCMech.com within an hour of my posting it, which is absolutely amazing, and it's in the search results that fast. So uh, the, it, it definitely does work, so I do recommend it to you. It's a Google XML Sitemaps plugin, uh, and uh, just there, the link will be associated with this video over on davidrisley.com, or you can just go to wordpress.org, go to the plugins directory, and just search for it. It's probably on the most popular list because that's what it is. See you guys later.